Hey, what is up guys? So today we are going to be talking about Widowmaker's nerfs and after the nerf, if I still think she's viable, or I should say nerfs because multiple things had happened to her that kind of changed up her viability in the game, not only in the competitive scene, but also for people that just want to have some fun, you know, play Widowmaker. Like, you guys wanted my opinions on it and after, you know, some testing over the past couple days, I've been thinking about it and, uh, you know, I finally got around to getting some gameplay for you guys that isn't the best. Um, and I'm not trying to say that, oh, I'm the best Widowmaker, I'm picking crap gameplay for you guys. But the reason why I'm choosing this game is because there's a lot of engagements, and you'll see that there are certain integers where a lot of heroes would have died if I had that extra 30 damage. And, um, that is because instead of doing, uh, 150, when you're scoped in with a fully charged shot, you now deal 120, which is actually a huge deal. Uh, that makes it so you cannot one-shot Tracer, you cannot one-shot Zenyatta, and also a, a lot of the integers in this game, um, instead of it being, like, and now you have to have something to do an additional um, 80 damage to finish off the target, whereas before just another 50. And that helps out a lot with other heroes that can do things that deal 50 damage. For example, Genji's dash, 50 damage, just like flat. It just, it, it, it actually is a pretty big nerf. That's actually one of the bigger nerfs. Uh, for a lot of people that play competitively, especially in the Korea scene when you guys see them, or when they scope in and scope out really, really fast, and they, they're really good with uh, Widowmaker, that is no longer viable. So a lot of people have actually dropped Widowmaker completely. I still think she's viable, you guys can definitely see that uh, she can still get out a lot of kills and she still does her job relatively well. Uh, if you're getting uh, headshots though, she's uh, virtually unchanged. I still think that her assault rifle does too much damage and she also has too much ammo in the clip, um, but I still think that with those three nerfs, uh, again, the damage, the uh, scope and mechanic, and in addition that her ult building up slower, uh, they are pretty big nerfs if you add them up all together. That's pretty big. Um, I know McCree basically lost half of his damage, essentially, on his fan the hammer, but uh, that's a video for another time. But, you guys can see I'm still doing work, still killing like the, the junk rats, uh, like rip tire, like I'm still adding a lot to my team, I'm still like killing people over and over, and I'm still able to uh, keep up my ult rel relatively like for the most part of the game where like uh, it's necessary. Um, and I still think that she's still definitely viable. Overall, I think that the nerfs are pretty big when you add them up again all together like they're small nerfs like you know uh if you just look at them one by one but again there's no hero in this game that's got nerfs like that that much nerfs like it, at one point i know it's multiple things but again when you're adding them all up and they are kind of minor but uh in the long run she did lose out a lot like uh, her ult is still one of the better ults in the game i still think it's probably one of the best ults in the game but I still think that uh, the nerfs, they're fine with me. I still think that she's viable. I'll still definitely play her. Um, not only because uh, she has that potential to just carry, but also, like, if you're not doing good with her, it's your fault. Like, there are heroes where, no matter how good you do, sometimes, like, you can be a really great Mercy player, right? Uh, for the most part, like, I know you can swap a pistol and technically get a lot of kills, but sometimes if your team is not getting those kills, no matter how good you are, you can't really, like, carry the team, essentially, is what I'm trying to say. Whereas Widow, with Widowmaker, like, right there, I missed that shot. That's completely my fault. Uh, and that's what I like with Widowmaker. She punishes you if you suck with, you know, a hero. And I don't mind that with games. But overall, I still think the uh, nerfs are, um, they're overall pretty big, again, when you add them all up. But she's still definitely viable in the game. And I still will definitely uh, be willing to uh, play her in the rank section when it comes out later this week. But uh, I would love to know your guys' thoughts on this. Do you guys think that the nerfs were too big? Or do you feel like uh, they're not enough? Heck, I, I honestly think that, like, she has too much ammo. Um, I think that her spider mine should just reveal a target um, for, like, you know, one second or just alert you. Because that's essentially what it should be used for. It's not really meant to be used for uh, anything along the lines of actually dealing DPS, but it, it does 70 damage. That's that's not a bad amount of damage. Um, but yeah, I'd love to know your guys' thoughts on this, but uh, I will definitely be playing her in ranked. But again, I like that if you suck with her, it's completely your fault. And you can see, again, I, I have Recon Visor up, I think, like, three times within the first couple, like, within a like, couple minutes. That's, that's pretty big. Like, there are a lot of heroes that don't get that many ults, like, in a game. So, again... Let me know your guys' thoughts on this, um, whether even if you think that it should have been, uh, like, modified differently, I still think she has too much ammo in her magazine, and on top of that, uh, she also does a lot of damage with the assault rifle. Oh, speaking of that, one thing I also wanted to mention is that, uh, against things like Tracer now, uh, you can still pretty much, like, hunt her to zero her, but she has a chance to go back, that's what I don't really like. Uh, is that like once I hit Tracer I can follow up with some autos and she'll die 
But the problem is, is once she gets hit, she instantly just goes back. But again, those are my thoughts. Uh, let me know your guys' thoughts down below. I know I mentioned it 69 times, but uh, yeah, I, I also want to know your guys' thoughts if you play Widowmaker. Or heck, if you don't, if you don't play Widowmaker, like you play against her, and uh, you have just some thoughts, uh, I'd love to hear from you guys because I want a lot of my Overwatch content to be kind of uh, community-driven, where we all talk about certain things because. This is a game where I think that you can be casual and competitive and you can actually have some good things to say because I would like to get your guys' thoughts uh, even if you're just a casual player because a lot of times what happens in games is they cater towards the casual players. They'll cater towards what they think needs to be nerfed uh, from the casual scene uh, and that's just because people will come, maybe, you know, they'll complain about certain things and they just don't know how to counter it. and that's fine. That's just how kind of games are. But uh, yeah, like I said, let me know your thoughts. I'm signing out. Thanks for watching. I'm out.